your first alert weather with meteorologist Ted Schmidt. It's great to see some early morning sunshine already. We have a day of sunshine ahead of us. I think uh, the, uh, the recommendation here is that you, you soak in the sun. Enjoy the sunshine because this may be the last of the sun we see for a while. In true late December fashion, we're looking at a stretch of kind of gray weather. This time of the year oftentimes known for being kind of kind of gray and dreary at times. And we do have some uh, cloudier days ahead. But for now, it's a sun filled morning and not a cloud to be seen as we look outside live now with our Lewiston auto cameras. What a glorious looking morning it is. Temperatures not as cold as they've been in the past couple of days and without much wind. That's a nice change of pace for us. We've had three days in a row with gusts beyond 30 miles per hour today. Not a whole lot of wind. Now we have a lot of sunshine to go with it. So it looks like a, a terrific Wednesday. 22 right now in Rochester at the airport. Winona 28. It's 21 in Osage and 20 in Mason City. We're on our way, believe it or not, to the low 40s. Something we've done already eight times this year. And this looks to be day number nine. Some moonlight, some sunlight now though. Tw 22 right now. Feels like 12. The wind's fairly light. Air pressure is rising. 30.12 inches of mercury. As high pressure uh, contain, uh, continues to, to uh, assert itself in the region. We have low pressure though gathering to the southwest. That's going to work its way into the area, drawing in some warm air ahead of it. Also some extra cloud cover. In time, clouds will thicken. That'll happen tonight. And eventually, well, I look for maybe a couple of doses of rain heading into the weekend. But 22 right now in Rochester with clear skies, 31 in St. Cloud, 19 in Marshall, but 30 in Des Moines. Sunshine for the morning commute, 22, a light breeze. Temperatures climbing from there into the 30s by lunchtime, eventually low 40s, and we'll spend the rest of the week and the holiday weekend in the 40s, even low 50s. We may even flirt with record territory maybe a couple of times with chance of also some rain in, the, in store for the holiday weekend. Future track today, we have some sunshine going on today and enjoy that while we have it because future track doesn't look quite so clear in the coming days. Later tonight, clouds begin to thicken during the evening. Gray skies in the overnight hours. Tomorrow, clouds and maybe even a spot or two of drizzle during the day. Temperatures right around 40 with a hint of a breeze and then heading into Friday morning. Extra cloud giver, even some spotty showers. Nothing widespread on Friday, but better chance of rain do lie ahead for the tail end of the holiday weekend. Jet stream, uh, northern branch way up north, keeping the cold air out of our area. Mild weather holds on, but some energy for the west will come in for Sunday and Monday. Extra rain chances there. Those will be the warmest two days of the week. Also the wettest two days. The possibility of record setting temperatures, maybe even a shot at record rainfall Sunday into Monday. A half inch or more of rain is possible in that time frame, which is not extreme measure of rain, but for this time of the year, unusual. And so we may be looking at something uh, in, in the record books for that with half inch or more uh, a, a possible in those days. Santa's confused about these mild weather uh, temperatures. This is not <laughs> Minnesota like for him, I don't think. 40s and 50s for the next uh, six, maybe seven days. Today, look for a high of 41, mostly sunny. Winds for the east around 5 to 15 miles per hour. Tonight, light winds, increasing cloud cover, low of 26. In the coming nights, not so many 20s. Look at this, 30s and 40s. Uh, the days to watch for records. Saturday, uh, rather Sunday and Monday. It's Christmas Eve and Christmas Day. Mm -hmm. uh, those two days, Right now, as it stands, would be record highs and record morning low uh, warm conditions. With rain, uh, if, if we reach half inch, that would be a record in wow. the time frame as well. So, uh, unusually wet, unusually gray, and well, not unusually gray, but uh, yeah. gray mm -hmm. and unusually warm uh, weather for uh, the holiday. But the good news is, I've been, as I've been saying, <laughs> trying to look at the bright side, it's it's quiet travel weather. Yes, we don't have to for worry sure. About freezing rain, we have to worry about uh, blizzard conditions this time around. Different.